For God's sake, let us sit upon the sledge and tell bad jokes about the deaths of emperors. You have to listen very, very closely, and they're the ticks, and they're the crackles, and, and everything kind of sounds the same, but you never hear the same thing twice. The whole evening is called Access All Archives, and it's a mix of um, live performances and installations across five museums in Cambridge. Hi, I'm Joe Snape, um, and I make things with sound. And for this particular festival, um, I've made an installation with a writer called Sarah McKee, for which I've made some music and uh, done some programming. And so I started playing music when I was about eight, the way most people do. I played piano first, um, then I learned classical percussion. But I only really started making music when I got my first guitar. Um, and then I started trying to find ways of recording it. And then I kind of discovered this whole world of signal processing and making music on computers and finding sounds that I'd never heard before. My name is Sarah McKee, uh, I'm a writer, and for this particular installation I've been working on the central text, which will work in relationship with the music. Well, my music almost always involves a computer at some stage. It's, it's more about finding a concept which stands up well on its own, which is strong and quite simple, but also which sounds interesting. The thing I like so much about Sarah's writing and the reason it's so important is because she writes in a very sonic way. When she writes certain things about ice, it, it really sounds like ice. So in that sense, her text is very musical. For me, the big point was not to retell the story. I mean, you can read the story everywhere. It was more to reimagine it and to re-feel it so that it's more about how it might have felt to be there. There are things which are disorienting and not necessarily pleasant or nice to listen to, but that do put you in a, in a position which maybe on some level is similar to, to the situation in which the Polo Party found themselves. I think young people would enjoy this and really benefit from it because there's the amazing story, just th these are heroes. Really, I just want to show people these sounds and these images and, the, and this text because they do something for me and I hope they do something for other people. If that changes their perception of uh, electronic music, then I suppose that's a cool thing. The events are separate. I mean, they all explore their own museums and their own locations that they're in. But I suppose if there is a thread that unites them all, it's that each thing is more or less site-specific. It's being conceived with the venue in mind. People interested in music should come, people interested in, in poetry or writing or sound. It's a chance to see something that you haven't seen before probably, and certainly a chance to hear something that you won't have heard. Um, and it probably won't happen tomorrow again, so, so I would come while it's here, because it'll be, it'll be something special.